who apparently was just doing what you know, was doing what uh, rich old white guys do. He knows overnight in the NFL, former Super Bowl winner John Gruden out as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders after racist, homophobic, and misogynistic comments were found in his emails. TJ Holmes is here with more TJ. If you want to hear my talking points, just literally uh, Google Hassan Piker ACAB or some shit. You know what I mean? There's like a million videos out there. It's a lot of shockwaves yesterday around the NFL. Do it straight. And most of what's in these emails, we can't repeat here on the air. Mm. And we can't show you. We're talking about slurs directed at the NFL commissioner. Slurs in reference to gay players being drafted. Oh, show us the... It was my Man, show us the juicy shit. I want to know. Rights. Because, like, listen, I, I have the suspicion... And I've talked about this before. I feel like, like rich white guys, like their power level comes from how racist they are. And sometimes that shit's really unique. You know what I mean? Like there's like unique levels of bigotry hidden there. They use all of their creative juices on being as racist as you humanly can possibly be. And I want to know, like, what, what's the, what, what did he say? Pictures of half naked cheerleaders. We're talking about mocking what? female female referees mocking players who protest yes all this from a guy who is not just one of the highest paid coaches in the nfl not just a super bowl winning coach but he has been one of the most influential members of the nfl community for decades gotta go john gruden abruptly by the way it's literally like the least surprising thing like come on dude really like really we're we're just <laughs> i'm in so much pain right now Sage. Like, this is the least surprising thing I've ever seen or heard as far as, like, news. Designed overnight as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, just hours after a bombshell New York Times report revealed his repeated use of abhorrent language in emails dating back a decade. The New York Times writes that Gruden casually and frequently unleashed misogynistic and homophobic language over several years to denigrate people around the game and to mock some of the league's momentous changes. Oh, well shit. Okay, I saw some of it. This New York Times article. Okay. Bro, this is burying the lead in a tweet, dude. So, this guy says, By pissing off black people, the LGBTQIA community, women, and Obama, Biden stands, Gruden secures the rare quadruple cancellation, trigger warning, hella slurs. And at first, I was like, Gruden also criticized President Obama during his re-election campaign in 2012, as well as then-Vice President Joe Biden, whom Gruden called a nervous, clueless... True. He used similar words to describe Goodell. And Damar Smith, the executive director of the NFL Players Association. I was like, well, that's like, what? You're, you're getting canceled for that? Like, that's nuts. Okay. This is truly 1987 George Orwin Animal uh, Crossing on Nintendo. You know what I mean? That bullshit. Am I supposed and then I click next and it's like, Gruden's behavior was not limited to 2011. Exchanged emails with Alan and other men that included photos of women wearing only bikini bottoms, including two of the Washington Dream. Okay. So that... Like, Love my boy Hassi. they're 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 stacking the deck. Okay, this is what is known as, or is it padding the deck? I don't know what the exact the exact thing is, but it's like n this. Both of these things are not like that bad, unless it's revenge porn. But if it was revenge porn, they would state it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's just like they're basically trying to like you know heighten the 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 uh, the severity of the offenses, right? And then I click one more, and I'm like. Oh, okay. That's, that's, yeah, that's, um, that's very racist. The email was written in 2011 in exchange between Gruden, who's white and was an analyst for ESPN at the time, and Bruce Allen, who was then the president of the Washington football team. Then Boris Smith has lips the size of Michelin tires. Gruden wrote about Smith in the exchange. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. That, that's just like, all right, that's really fed up. That's what I was talking about when I said creative racism. These mother are like english majors dude when it comes to like being racist rich white people will literally turn into shakespeare they have to like they they just use all of their creative juices for being like as racist as you humanly physically can uh, uh, be it's nuts dude if they use that creative energy for anything else like they could actually make some maybe good content at hassan abi hassan also the raiders have one of the best gay linebackers Sending photos of naked women to your work colleagues is not that bad. I think you are underplaying that one. It's actually hella inappropriate for the I workplace. Understand. Yeah, I mean, for sure. But compared to this, it's like, okay, that's fucking really bad. 
those Washington cheerleaders were literally pimped out by the owner. I don't know the context. That's why I said, if the context is really bad, I feel like they would actually add that into the article, though. <laughs> the cheerleader story is a much bigger thing. Google it. There's accusation of forced prostitution. Okay, well, then that's insane. Why is that not? Okay, well, we'll you know, you should probably mention that in the article. That's so much worse. Clicking on the next slide. I haven't seen this one yet. Gruden's messages were sent to Bruce Allen, the former president of the Washington football team, and others while he was working for ESPN as a color analyst during Monday Night's Football. The Sports Network. Yeah, he, he offered color commentary, all right. Uh, <clears throat> um, color analyst and color commentary means like you're the spicy guy, for those of you who don't know. Anyway. Um, the Sports Network's weekly primetime telecast of NFL games. In the emails, Gruden called the league's commissioner, Roger Goodell, <laughs> an F word and a clueless anti-football pussy and said that Goodell should not have pressured Jeff Fisher, then the coach of the Rams, to draft. <laughs> a reference to Michael Sam, a gay Six player chosen by the team in 2014. Okay. Yeah. That's the trifecta or the quadfecta, actually. This was found during the investigation into the prostitution shit with Washington. Gruden basically caught a stray here. Queer isn't a slur. It absolutely Five is, dude. Are there. you insane? In this situation, it 100% is. When I say queer folk, or when I use queer as an umbrella term to describe, like, the entirety of the LGBT community, uh, then it's not, okay? Then it's not a slur. In the context of saying... The first openly gay player who was drafted to the NFL is a queer. Then you're using it as a as a weaponized slur. Okay, there are a lot of terrible things about the Gruden story, but I can't get over Bruce Allen forcing Washington cheerleaders to do a topless photo shoot and then using the his team email account to send the pictures of Gruden. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, that seems like that seems incredibly illegal, dude. Per Juliet McCurr of the New York Times, several former Washington cheerleaders were required to be topless for a photo shoot during the trip, and the team invited a contingent of sponsors and FedEx suite holders who were all men to attend. Yep, context is king in many words, like how Southern men use word boy, super racist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or even black. Or Jew, for example. Like, it can be contextually appropriate or contextually very inappropriate, Okay tone inflection and context and who's saying it and in what context they're saying it absolutely matters in that situation thanks for all the great content hassan swoon what did you know that there's a tiktok account called anti hasanabi that takes like five second clips of you being an in-character rhydoid and claims that those are your opinions it literally does not that's a stan account dude are you kidding me they're just memeing they let NFL players beat their wives and stay. It's so fucked. I mean, they let NFL players murder people. What the f do you mean? They, they let you do anything, okay? If you are a valuable asset to a team, as in you bring a lot of money, you bring a lot of fans to the table, and you're very good at what you do, I think they're the only thing that we disagree on with the anti Hasanabi account and myself is that they're like expressly anti sex work. And obviously, I am pro sex work. As a sports weave, the emails aren't even half the story. There's a lot more to the story. I'm not trying to yeah. take away from what Gruden said. It's awful, but those pictures of those topless cheerleaders had their passports taken away and persuaded to take those pics. The NFL leaked Gruden's emails, but are keeping hush-hush on the owner who most likely prostituted those cheerleaders. Yeah, that's insanely f Like, what the real... I feel like the real misogyny there, and I mean, like, the media also participating in this, like, patriarchal construct, whether, the, uh, whether uh, uh, inadvertently or not, doesn't matter is like not making a bigger story about an owner of a team literally prostituting um, without like enthusiastic consent their own cheerleaders and and instead everyone hyper focusing on like a rich white dude being this. racist this and also misogynistic and shit you know what i mean it's like this is not this is literally like a dog bites man story the other one is man bites dog but for some reason the media is not covering that as much it seems like but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. While working for ESPN, Gruden reportedly called NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell a quote. Clue don't forget about Robert Kraft getting massage service in Florida. I don't care about that, dude. Like, depending on the circumstances, depending on the circumstances of uh, of the the people that we're talking about, like, I, I don't. You're not gonna get. I'm not gonna get upset about someone like fucking hiring sex workers and shit. But I think they were trafficked, right? 
clueless anti-football expletive and referred to him using a homophobic slur. One of Gruden's players on the Raiders, Carl Nassib, the first openly gay active player in the NFL. In the emails, the conversations that evoked these vulgarities um, were about openly gay players being drafted or or playing. About Wait, but you drew the line with the tires comment and not you said the picture story was not that bad because I didn't know the context of how those pictures were acquired. Like, I did not realize that those were naked uh, ladies that were cheerleaders that they themselves had coerced into taking naked photos and shit like that about yes. protesting during <clears throat> the anthem about player safety and concussions about women referees time out time out in a statement overnight gruden said i love the raiders and do not want to be a distraction thank you to all the players coaches staff and fans of raider nation i'm sorry i never meant to hurt anyone <laughs> Even before the latest revelations, other Gruden emails were already in the spotlight. The Wall Street Journal reported that he used a racist trope to describe NFL Players Association Executive Director Demoris Smith back in 2011. Gruden acknowledged to The Athletic that his language went too far, adding, I never had a blade of racism in me. Uh -huh. He also addressed the comments at a press conference last year. Yeah, Sunday. I never had a blade of racism in me. I had a fucking fat, I had a saber, okay? I didn't have a blade of racism in me. I had a fat saber, all right? I had a claymore of racism. Day ...following the Raiders' oh, nice. loss to the Chicago Bears. I'm not a racist. I don't, uh, I can't uh, tell you how sick I am. I apologize again to, to, to D. Smith. Yes, um, I had the guts, I had the gut sword of racism, okay? <laughs> like, this is why Hunter of racism. But I feel good about who I am and what I've done my entire life. Smith later tweeted, this is not about an email as much as it is about a pervasive belief by some that people who look like me can be treated as less. Robert Kraft's prosecutors themselves walk back to sex trafficking claim. Prosecutor, there's no evidence of sex trafficking in the Robert Kraft uh, case. I mean, it's an interesting predicament because well, the next two is it's Florida, okay? And we know how... Uh, Floridian prosecutors have in the past, you know, given people a uh, lighter sentence or looked the other way when it comes to sex offenders, because that's kind of, you know, that's kind of a part of the Florida economy, you know, billionaires doing sex offenses is what keeps the Floridian economy going, you know, hassle. Washington's owner took the Chile's passport and forced him to serve as escorts in Costa Rica. It's insane how he got away with it. Let me guess. He got away with it because he's a billionaire, dude. That's how he got away with it. Just like I'm about to get away with this ad break. Because it's top of the hour. And I'm going to run the 60-second ad break right now. Yite. That's right. Because at the top of the hour, there's a 60-second ad break. Of course, if you no longer want to see those ads, uh, there are things you can do. Like, you can subscribe. You can subscribe for $5. You can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. If you have a Twitch Prime, you haven't used it yet. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe, you can also use an ad block or a VPN, but Twitch Prime is free. Okay. Here's the one I'm going to add now. All right, let's get back to this uh, video. Less. The New York Times called the emails an unvarnished look into the clubby culture of one NFL circle of peers where white male decision makers felt comfortable sharing pornographic images, deriding the league policies, and jocularly sharing homophobic language. Gruden, who won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers in 2003, was one of the highest paid coaches in the NFL, signing a 10-year, $100 million contract with the Raiders in 2018. Probably that is the end to what at one point was a storied NFL career as a Super Bowl winning coach, Let's a go. famed Monday Night Football broadcaster, the man that led the Raiders into Las Vegas, a great football career ending in this way. And to be clear here, this was... I mean, yeah, he did it on his own, though. Also fascinating how quickly the crude emails have become public while all aspects of the league's investigation into Dan Snyder has remained completely private. Lesson for everyone in the difference between the people who cash the checks and those who write them. For the hassle, record, hassle, like, hassle. this coach is not a good guy, okay? Don't misunderstand me. He's not a good guy. It's, that is obvious, right? He's homophobic. He's racist. He's misogynistic. But let's keep it 100. 
you know, those team owners, dude, <laughs> they're doing, <clears throat> they're doing way worse shit. Like way worse shit. Hit job from Goodell being pissed at being called a. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was pretty funny. Like him saying Obama and, and Joe Biden are clueless. Or him saying like Roger Goodell's a clueless who hates football. He's an anti-football. Like that shit's months. funny as fuck. One who cares? Month until I get brain like if that's why they were trying to fire him, I'd be like, get out of here. You're a 100. psycho. Okay. That is like a psychotic rad lib bullshit. Like, you're ridiculous. The ladies that were, you know, forced to take topless photos under duress while also simultaneous. I mean, that's like a bigger crime, dude. That's like actually a crime. See, this is what I don't understand. Being a racist piece of shit in a private email is not a crime, okay? It is a fireable offense, certainly, and it says a lot about you, but that's not a crime. The other thing is like literally a crime, dude. What is going on? Like, that's what I'm like weirded out about that. Like, that is like, that's the story is the crime that's right there. And not like the, the parts that you can, you know, kind of chip away at casual sexism is still sexism. It still adds the culture and it still uplifts the patriarchy, which hurts not just women, but men. So you cannot diminish casual racism, casual sexism, casual anything, because they all add to the normalizing and adding to a very large problem. Yeah. The very large problem of like uh, coercing women to take topless photos and like sex trafficking them, sex trafficking them in Costa Rica seems like the culture that you are perpetuating. So if you're hyper focusing on like other aspects of that that normalizes it, while there's the literal thing right there, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, you know? Anyway, Gruden also had seven years and seventy million left on his contract that he's losing. Yeah. Do you think racist people are redeemable or will they always be racist? I 1000% believe that racist people are redeemable. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, I literally, <laughs> I believe murderers are redeemable. Why wouldn't I think racist people can redeem themselves? You absolutely can change. Let me just quit right now. If I can't change his minds and like uh, get them to recognize the, the wrongs that they've committed in the past, let's just quit, you know? Bad people are bad, and they will always be bad. There is no reason to analyze the material conditions. There's no reason to analyze, like, you know, uh, systems or, or social conditioning that uh, factors into the way people operate. And uh, let's just assume that they're forever going to be racist. That's crazy to me. Like, let me just, let me just let me just stop what I'm doing then. It's just like a whole a big part of why I started streaming on Twitch was so that I could literally show people that you can change. Okay, you can redeem yourself, you can people learn, chat, how you and there are this. thousands of people in this community that have. So, obviously, I believe in that, dude. That's crazy. Jesus, he's finally getting it. Good for you. What? This is... I, I think you mean someone else, right? Because I... This is my... This is at the heart of my rhetoric and commentary for a very long time, and has been since the beginning. <sighs> anyway, can you recover from... Prawn edition, my friend. Okay, stop. Believing in that is the difference between actually wanting to make change versus just whining and do culture war bullshit on Twitter. It straight up feels like the real problem. It straight up feels like the real problem here is the cheerleader investigation that's being conducted currently. That is a much bigger guy, much bigger fish to fry. If you make the world better, even in right? a small way, and it's worth it. And this Thank is just like, this by. is just like one way to move the, shift the attention away. You know what I mean? I, I feel like, I feel like that's, that's what's going on. This leak is very sussy baka. It was not one email that included a lot of insults. This was a seven or eight year stretch of emails from him. Now, like people ask, who in the world was he talking to? this comfortably that he would say these. what a horrible unrelated fact that has emerged from the john gruden fiasco is that he has a son named deuce gruden who looks like this oh my god dude what is this dude look this is this is one guy this is one dude off the streets okay luckily he was born into a multi-millionaire coach family because otherwise that's a cop that's literally a cop, dude.
out here looking like Megan hey, Fox is dumb, today, dude. dude. Sigma grind set, bro. Holy shit. He just straight up looks like a toe thumb. Sup, babe. He Have ain't a nice even a day. thumb. He's a pinky. Dude, that's the fattest pinky on the planet, dude. Um, it's been one year. Now I am trans and starting to grow my boobies. He's a competitive power lifter? Yeah, he looks jacked. This is some serious 5-6 energy right here. Yeah. That's Thumbelina. Bro, he literally... I mean, dude. It looks like they just took him and burp, pressed him down a little bit and he just widened out. <laughs> dude, come on! Oh my god! Dude! What? Also... It literally this picture and this picture is the same picture, dude. Are you kidding me? You went to boot camp for thumb wars? Dude, that is like that's excellent. That's excellent cop posture, dude. That's wonderful, dude. He fought in Thumb War too. Thumb War so nice they had to do it twice. And then Deuce Gooden was was a part of it. Why is his right forearm so thick? He's a power lifter. Okay, dude. Stop! John Gruden writing an email. <laughs> uh, sports Twitter is going to love this shit, dude. Oh, wasn't this the Raiders? Like, I can breathe? Oh, yeah. I remember. They... Oh, my God. Isn't the Raiders... Oh, shit. I just remembered. Aren't they, like, super weird? Like, the owner of Raiders is super weird. And his son... Isn't this team owner, like, insanely weird? W what's his name, dude? His son looks like... Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to make fun of him. Like, yeah, the owner, too. Yeah, this guy, dude. <laughs> yeah, this guy. I love this guy. I love this guy, dude. This guy's my favorite, dude. He's just, like... I took it as a challenge. You know what I mean? Like... When, when people said, like, rich dudes can get pussy no matter what, like, I was like, that's a challenge. The original team owner, Al Davis, was actually pretty woke. He had women in the front office and hired multiple minority coaches. Bro, he's, he's awesome, dude. I love this guy. Uh, yeah, I love this. Can't believe Chad made fun of your hair when there's people out there looking like that. I mean, this is, like, so powerful. Sussy. This is one of the worst looks you can have. Especially at that price point, like... <clears throat> At that, like, when you're at that level of wealth, if you look like that, that means you are very, like, you are trying extremely hard to look like that. Like, even on accident, a, a hairstylist could fix your shit up. I love this. These things, well, on these emails, Bruce Allen, who's the former president of the Washington football team, they were being investigated for workplace toxicity by the NFL. Also on the email, the co-founder of Hooters, another executive with a restaurant chain in Tampa and also an executive that used to run a college bowl game. So they were on the emails. And friends, NFL hassle, hassle, initiate hassle, hassle, change, right? The Inspire Change initiative they have. The focus of that is to, together, create positive change in communities across America. Female referees, we, uh, the, the players wearing patches on their helmets, Inspire Change. All of this is happening uh -huh. out front and behind the scenes. This is not just some guy. Uh -huh. This is an influential member of the NFL. That's the funny part, though, is that, like, all of this stuff is symbolic for the most part, okay? And it's not offering, like, fundamental or structural change uh, to anything, okay? It's just, like, it's literally just, like, a, a symbolic, oh, we are actually woke. And we're not, like, a the industry built around, like, destroying the bodies of... of um, overwhelmingly, of course, comprised of black men, like destroying their bodies and uh, refusing to help them out when their bodies are completely destroyed. An industry that like does not give a shit and um, an industry that does not give a shit and regularly will defend athletes as long as they're good. Athletes that are, uh, you know, doing horrible shit too. Who is speaking behind the scenes it, as the antithesis of everything they're trying to put out publicly. That is a problem for the league. Absolutely.
Okay. Let's move on to Southwest Airlines. Airlines. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big story. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. 